Hi friends, it's Friday. Um, after a fairly hectic week um, that I've had and um, completely all up in the air, I suppose, schedule wise and things like that. So um, I sort of hit a bit of a brick wall and um, physically wasn't, um, you know, able to, to continue. So I just decided to back off for a bit and um, yeah, so I've got a bit of spare time today and I'll be back into it tomorrow um, because the next few days are, are just crazy. So I decided rather than do my face of the day, I will come on and do my September favourites because I don't think I've ever done that. So it made me sort of think um think about some other things as well you know such as music music and um you know books and um you know tv and stuff like that so but anyway let me start with beauty so my favorite for this month definitely has been the daisy perfume um by mark jacobs um it's just such a different scent for me but yet suits really well i don't usually like floral scents but this one does have a bit of a sweet you know sweet undertone to it 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 seems to settle on my skin so that it doesn't stay that sickly sweet if you know what i mean so i'm absolutely loving it for something different but my next perfume is definitely um the new the new formula of Chanel number no. five, which is just stunningly beautiful. Um, just love it. Um, so that's perfume. Um, candle. Oh my gosh, more candles. These are horribly expensive in Australia. This one retailed at $39.95, but I picked it up for $22. And this one was the white hydrangea. Oh my goodness, this is the most stunning perfume I have ever, ever, ever burnt in my life. I've been burning it in my, my room, uh, my bedroom, um, you know, once I sort of go into, to, into the bathroom to do my face and I put it on Ben and it just gives this lovely, lovely scent in the room that, you know, just, oh, and I swear it's helping me get to sleep. I don't know why, but there's this um there's this fragrance in the room that just I don't have to burn it for long it permeates the room and it's just so nice and there were three of these on the sale table and I swear if I can get there they'll be gone but if I can pick these up for twenty two dollars oh my gosh I would pick them up because I actually think I might even pay thirty nine ninety five for that um beverage. My favourite beverage for the month has been um, this Turkish apple tea, which looks like that. Um, this is a really refreshing tea. Um, you only need a bit of it um, and it completely dissolves. It's almost like an instant tea. Uh, completely dissolves and, um, and it's really very refreshing hot. And it makes a gorgeous iced tea as well. Okay, so some beauty, oh, hair. The 11 Miracle Hair Treatment. This is stunning stuff. Um, I got this in a sample. I have looked around for it ever since. And I found a local stockist and I so I'm back using this. And the difference that it's made to the feel of my hair using all their products it's just it's just made such a huge difference but this stuff if i could only afford one thing of 11 this is what i would definitely get um and if you can get it online do so because this is amazing amazing stuff because i had so much trouble with my hair like it's because i've been trying different products and it somehow worked was coating my hair um so it's been stripped and i'm just using all 11 products and i'm just back to healthy hair again and it feels really good i haven't had it colored yet because i haven't had time okay 
So now on to beauty. Um, this Hourglass Veil Primer. I just love this. Um, it certainly allows my makeup um, application so much smoother. It doesn't collect in my pores. It allows my foundation to go on super smooth and this is really, really nice. As a high-end product, this is fantastic. I would still stick with the Alme Primer for drugstore brand, um, but this, this is amazing stuff and I just love it. So I would pick that up every day. Another Hourglass product, which is this um, ambient lighting powder. Um, I just love this as well. It just goes over your skin to highlight without being shiny. And it just lifts and gives a bit of a glow without, as a powder without being, yeah, I, I can't explain it. It's, it's really, really, really good stuff. There's a whole range of different hourglass um, powders that do different things. Um, but I'm not looking. I don't want to look because I don't want to buy anything more for quite some time. So I'm happy with this hourglass um, ambient lighting powder. So it just gives my skin a bit of light in places where it needs it. And yeah, really good. Um, Another product I'm really, really liking is a Chanel product, which is this um, cream blush. I've got some lovely blushes that I've been using that have been my favourites, but I always came to the blush part of my application and never quite knew where to place it and and when I looked with my glasses on, because I couldn't see without my glasses on, I could see it kind of rested on the top of my finishing powder or, or whatever it is. And and it seemed to accentuate the um, fine lines and, and, well, I don't have fine lines. I've got deep lines, wrinkles um, on my cheeks. So, and especially coming down from my eye. So when I was in... Chanel one day having a makeover um, they suggested trying a, a cream blush Now I had a NARS cream blush um, which was Orgasm um, which I actually quite liked using but it wasn't very strong so one swipe and it would just wipe off um, so you have to really apply the NARS Orgasm quite a lot in the cream blush but and it's great for touch-ups but anyway Chanel tried this and I love it. Now it's quite scary um, to look at this this particular one. Very very scary but I've got it on today. It looks very orange there and it is but it's a very deep terracotta colour. Um, so even when you do that it's very scary there too but it's it's not because what it does it somehow with a bit of it just mutes it and um, I use a stippling brush and I just stipple a bit of color then wipe the excess off on some paper towel and then just blend it in and it goes on beautifully and it doesn't sit on top of my wrinkles or my powder or it just blends into my skin and it looks looks fine so really love that the other, there's another new product I got in this last month that I think is only actually being released tomorrow um, here. Um, but because I was in the store, I was in Maya, and um, I particularly asked for this product, and they said, well, it's not being released until the, the 5th of October. And I went, oh, darn. And she said, well, we've actually got the stock, but we can't. We can't give you, a, you know, we can't sample it for you. And I said, I don't want a sample. I just want to buy it. Anyway, there were two colours. And, and that's this Benefit um, Gimme Brow. Now, there's two colours and it's just light and, and dark. And I probably wanted the light, but she made me take the dark. Um, because I don't know whether it goes too dark on my eye, on my eyebrows or not. But it, it actually does... It is the same colour as my eyebrows, but it does make them darker. 
and I'm not sure that I wanted it. But what it is for me is a combination of powder and gel. So you don't have to put your colour on, you, you just put it on with this. It's so easy to apply. Um, the brush is a bit problematic because you can't always get it in um, in the right kind of places. So I might as well just do it there against my shirt. Um, so if you've got like a little spot, you know, sometimes it's really hard to get this in there. Um, but apart from that, I love this. This is worth every penny because it, it's really two products in one. A pencil or a powder and a gel. So it makes your eyebrows stay where they where you want them to stay so love this and the extra bonus is is that Maya have a gift with purchase so even though I was buying it 10 days ahead of time or something um it I still got the gift with purchase so <laughs> I was wrapped um and the last probably the last favorite for September this is my go-to eyeshadow when I want just a quick bit of colour but I don't want to do my eyes in any kind of big grand way um, you know I just want that natural look for the day but I just want a bit of colour on my eyelids and it's still I've talked about this before it's the Laura Mercier um, metallic cream eye colour and this is in um, alloy it's the only colour that Laura Mercier do bring into Australia in a in one of in a cream eye colour but they do have some pencils now um, that are just fantastic um, so I but I still I love this I keep going back to this um, you know it's it's even though it's metallic it's not overly metallic now I'm not sure whether you can no you can't see it but anyway I've, I've just got this and a bit of mascara on today um, with some foundation and and I've got had a big cold sore and it is ugly so I've had to put some lipstick on otherwise I would just look horrible so I had to make myself presentable um, so yeah this is definitely a favorite um, then my last favorite for the month and I can't speak highly enough about these and that's the whatnot facial wipes I love them um, they're definitely Australian got this one right um, and yeah I can't say enough about them okay now for a book my favorite book that I enjoyed for the month was actually this book um, called the war against apathy and this is actually about a family's battle with autism um, I know the author um, I I know her very well and um, I, I just love this book it's such an easy read and because I have a nephew with Asperger's um, I was you know interested to read this and um, I bought another copy for my mum um, who has a soft spot for her her grandson with Asperger's who's just finishing year 12 so I think he's he'll be 18 in in February so um, you know and he's still a bit of a problem so but anyway that was my favorite book for the month um my favorite tv show um i don't watch a lot of tv and i certainly don't watch tv when it's on because nothing's ever on when i want to watch anything um movies have been a little i've found it really hard to watch a movie of late so I, I downloaded a, an episode of Homeland, the very first episode of Homeland, oh, months ago. I mean, I was desperately looking for something to watch in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep. I put that on and I actually enjoyed it. So I'm up to the end of the first series now. So I've been enjoying that. Um, food for the month. I've been, last week we went, I've been enjoying Italian. Um, we went out... Uh, I went out with my kids the other night to this little restaurant in Geelong called Lipari and super cheap and it had the best Italian that I have ever tasted in my entire life. I had a ricotta and spinach lasagna 
and the only thing they did do was they drowned it in in a tomato sauce um, you know the pasta sauce on top which I'm not a big fan of that um, too much of that but but look it's homemade and it was lovely but the lasagna itself oh and my daughter said they do takeaway and I'm so bummed that I don't now live in Geelong that I, I actually it's just as well because I think I'd be buying it all the time it was just to die for but it's actually made me want to try some spinach and ricotta lasagna now so there we go and music the last thing my favorite music for the month um i've been a little nostalgic so i've looked at some tina arena songs um because i i love her singing i love her voice um she's just gorgeous um I've actually uh, downloaded some Seal, some vintage Seal, and um, and a new album that I that I purchased was um, one by Agnetha Falskog, you know from ABBA. Uh, she released a, a new album a few months ago, and I just love one of these songs. It actually made me want to. Um, by the album because I heard this on the radio and I thought I have to have this because it was just so lovely and I'm going to play a little bit for you so you can see what I'm talking about because it really spoke about my my uh, situation so I just loved it so here hi guys I'm not the song no um, my video was banned so I had to um, take it down um, because it was going to affect my account or something. I don't really understand all that. It was only 30 seconds, if that. So I don't get it. But anyway, I took it back down. And um, so I've now deleted the song, explaining why it's not there. And I'm now going to take you back to the end of that. So you can see the rest of my September favourites. So you can sort of see it was my story. Um, the video is interesting too, but I think it's her looking back um, at a young love, you know, one of her first loves, whereas for me it was my one and only long <laughs> love. So, yeah, I, I like music. I love getting uh, lost in music. So, um, but the words of music really appeal to me more often than not. So... Um, there you go. Okay, sorry to ramble yet again. So that was my September favourites of a whole bunch of stuff. And um, I'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.